is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're talking about scream 6 primarily in this video today entertainment tonight put out an article going over some new comments recently from the cast involved with scream 6 and some of the comments give us an insight as to what we can expect going into scream 6 from kirby reed and hayden pantier's return to the character and how she's kind of woven into the storyline this time around and i want to share my thoughts on that because you know if you follow me on twitter's Twitter, Instagram, or just listen to const some of my other constant Kirby Reed videos. You know, Kirby is the one I'm most excited to see back in the thick of things this time around. So, before I get to that, though, I want to start this video off by, as you see in these images, talking about Dead by Daylight, a very popular video game that I am a big fan of. Not a big fan, as some of you who I see over on Twitter always playing that video game, but it is quite addictive. I understand that just from my years when I was younger, constantly playing it. So, I, I, I recall those days. But, uh, what we learned is that according to Variety, a report came out that Blumhouse is getting ready to make a Dead by Daylight movie. Now, this is a bloody disgusting article I'm reading. It says Blumhouse and James Wan Atomic Monsters are joining forces with Behavior, Inter with Behavior Interactive on the Dead by Daylight movie, set to be a scary cinematic adaptation. The search for a writer and director is currently underway. This is noted in Variety. Uh, of course, this game launched in 2016. It's a popular multiplayer slasher video game that pits characters up against slasher maniacs, both original and iconic to the world of horror. I know we have like Freddy Krueger on there, Michael Myers, Jigsaw is factored in there in to some capacity, Billy the Puppet. Uh, the comments that have come out so far, I see here, we couldn't be more thrilled to work with James Blum and James, James Bl Jason Blum and James Wan, two giants of the horror film industry to further expand the Dead by Daylight universe. This is from Stephen Moroni, executive vice president at Behavior Interactive. At Behavior, our model is to create unique moments together forever. Atomic Monster and Blumhouse are the ideal partners to craft Dead by Daylight's killer entrance onto the big screen. James Wan added his own statement saying in dead by daylight the behavior team has created a love letter to the world of horror building an incredible environment teaming with atmosphere and terrifying villains perfect for a scary cinematic adaptation we're big fans of the game at atomic monster and are thrilled to be teaming up with blumhouse to bring this frighteningly visceral world to the big screen my thoughts on on this project coming out are i am more interested in this than the five nights at freddy movie i would say i am a bigger fan of this than five nights at freddy i do have a lot of interest in how they will explore the lore on screen given all of these different characters you know are factored into dead by daylight and just seeing the overall creative creative uh, vision that will come to life from this because i am very intrigued about this project more than five nights at freddy but just to jump into the meat and potatoes of today's video you guys can let me know if you're looking forward to the dead by daylight movie down in the comment section below we need to talk about kirby reed so kirby reed we know is returning in scream 6 hayden pantier will be reprising her role as the beloved fan favorite character from scream 4 who was thought to be dead although many people like myself argued for many years that she did not die there were several clues that hinted towards this in scream 4 Four. Wes Craven himself also pointed out that she was still moving and then of course we got the best answer possible in the form of an easter egg in screen 5. Now in a new interview or new bit of comments that have come out from Entertainment Tonight, uh, one of the producers involved with Scream 6 as well as Melissa Barrera have shared comments about her role and why we should be excited about how they're using her in Scream 6 and this should kind of let people be less worried about it. Well depending on how you interpret this. So they go on to say, it was so much fun to bring Kirby back. The fans are going to be so excited about how we use her and how she integrates into the storyline. This is from producer William Shrek. Now, Melissa Barrera went on to say this. She gets to play this. Is she? Isn't she? Like, is she on their side or is she not? There's all these moments of doubt. I think fans are going to love that journey of hers. Now, the reason these comments make me so excited is because this is exactly how I would utilize Kirby Reed given the context of how I see you guys have written her. She's most likely going to have moments where she's reflecting on Charlie, Jill, and we're going to learn how that has impacted her and probably how that has brought her into her role as working as an FBI agent, trying to help other victims not be victims anymore, just discovering a passion of solving crime to stop people from becoming victims like the way she almost was back in 2011 we get we're probably going to learn a lot about that during this but then also there's already people online i see with these seeds of doubt about where kirby's loyalties lie because we see that there clearly is some bit of stolen evidence factored into this narrative kirby reed being in the fbi she has access to all of these things so them utilizing her as a big giant red herring because i cannot see them really making her the killer now of course melissa barrera's comments 
could indeed set us up for the ultimate surprise when Kirby unmasks herself as the killer. But given that this has been flat out said by Barrera herself, them utilizing Kirby as a red herring, to me, it makes a lot of sense, given the context of what's being presented to us in the trailers, the TV spots, all the footage that keeps coming out, knowing that evidence has been stolen, knowing that the aged mask we're seeing is Billy Loomis's old mask. The only two people we can think of that will have access to this stuff is Detective Bailey and Kirby Reed, because if they're not the killers, in some capacity, somebody in law enforcement or who would have access to this is definitely involved. Maybe they've been blackmailed to some degree, but I think them using this to try to have us think maybe her trauma has gotten the better of her. And she has gone into the route that many people think Sydney Prescott should go down where she's finally snapped or something like that. Now, I can't see them necessarily doing that with Kirby Reed, but I think it's going to play off very well on screen to the point where, of course, they're not going to pull the trigger on that. She won't be the killer, but that is she or isn't she stuff and letting the audience think about all the possibilities that lead back to Kirby and how so many clues could point to Kirby. And then ultimately, you see that those clues were actually pointed at her by the real killer that could come off very well on screen i think that could come off very well on screen and i think it's going to ultimately turn out to be a better role for her than she had in screen four even if she has less screen time i think the significance of kirby is definitely sounding like it is heightened in this current film compared to screen four where she was just a newcomer who nobody really had their eyes on kirby as a potential suspect not in the level of what this is going to present to us because again there's stolen evidence going around she's working in the fbi she's somebody who already has trauma from a recent ghost face attack she's in the same boat as samantha carpenter maybe there's a maybe people speculate that sam's partner in scream six the general public that exists in this universe maybe they speculate that sam is still out there doing these things and now she's gotten the help of fbi agent kirby reed who is also coincidentally a survivor of another woodsboro killing spree so you have two survivors potentially out here killing people that's what i could just see playing out and them playing it up to us ultimately it's not going to happen but i think it's going to come off very well on screen i think it's going to translate very well many people who don't know about this of course are going to be very fooled and think it's her ultimately then have the rug pulled out from under them but let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video